What is going on guys? My name is Cheer and this is a video that was requested a lot. Many people have come to me asking how to do the unlimited liquid divinium glitch. The problem is it's very hard to explain and there's a lot of details that you need to know. And many people have, po have posted videos on YouTube as to how to do this glitch. But the problem is they don't explain it thoroughly. They don't tell you everything you need to know. People get confused and no one can do it. So this video is going to be a thorough explanation, very detailed. It's going to be visual, everything you need to know. All right. So we need to start with prerequisites and preparation. Okay. To do this glitch, you must have wired internet. If you do not have wired internet, don't even bother watching the rest of this video. Just turn it off and go to bed for the night. There's not even a point. You have to have wired internet to do this glitch. Okay? You must have a gun-related liquid divinium daily challenge. Your daily challenge must involve killing with a gun, and it must reward a liquid divinium. Okay, so it could be something like get 100 kills with a pack-a-punch shotgun or a pack-a-punch assault rifle or a pistol. It could be anything, but it has to be gun-related. It has to reward liquid divinium. So once you have those two things, what you're going to do is you're going to simply go into a game and you're going to get, well, most of your kills, but not all of them. I'm going to use the pistol as the example. Let's say my challenge is get 100 kills with a pistol and um, the reward is a liquid divinium. What you're going to do is you're going to go into the game and you're going to get 99 out of 100 kills and you're going to leave that last kill. Do not complete the challenge or you'll have to wait for a new one. Okay? And then what you're going to do is you're just going to end the round and you're going to close up. Right? And um, once you're done that, we can start getting into the glitch. Now, there's a thing called stack liquids and there's a thing called total liquids. Total liquids is the amount you have to spin in Dr. Monty's, right? Stack liquids are the amount of liquids in the system that you can replicate and duplicate to your total, right? And I'm gonna talk more about that, so we're just gonna get into that. So we've done our prerequisites and our preparation. Now we're going to learn how to build a stack to duplicate to our total, right? And uh, so we're going to start learning how to build the stack. How do you build a stack to duplicate? Because before you can duplicate it, you have to build the damn thing, right? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get into a game and you're going to grab the weapon you need. In my case, it's a pistol because I have to get 100 kills with a pistol. Right now, I start off with the RK5, but any pistol will do. Right. And then what you're going to do is, you know, you start on round one, you kill the first five zombies and you save last. And then you're going to get ready to kill that last zombie. And you're going to have one hand on the controller ready to pull the trigger at the zombie. And the other hand at the back of your console ready to pull out your internet cable, your LAN cable. So what you're going to do is you're going to quickly grab the final kill and then you're going to pull your LAN cable. And after you're done that, you're going to close app. And now you need to learn the timing on this. You must get the you must pull the cable a split second after you get the kill. So let's say one is getting the kill and two is pulling the cable. The timing must be one, two, that quick. It has to be that quick, like one, two. It has to be that quick. You have to get the final kill and then right after, a split second after, quickly pull the cable. Then you're going to close app. When you pull the cable, it's going to show on your screen that you completed the challenge, but you did not actually complete it. Because you pulled, assuming you pulled your cable at the right time, you did not complete it. So after you've closed app, okay, that will add one liquid divinium to your stack, right? And it's also going to add one liquid divinium to your total, right? 
And then what you're going to do is you're going to plug your cable back in and you're going to reopen BO3. And once you've done that, you're going to go to the menu where you got campaign, multiplayer, zombies, and whatever. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on zombies. And as soon as you click on zombies, the Treyarch logo will spin at the bottom corner. As soon as you see that logo spinning, you must pull your LAN cable. Okay? You have to pull your LAN cable. The cable must be pulled before it goes to the next screen and after the Treyarch logo starts to spin. You have to get that timing perfect or you'll lose your stack. Okay? So once you've done that, you do not dash. You simply plug your cable back in and you wait for BO3 to reconnect online. Okay? You don't dash. So as soon as you see the Treyarch symbol spin, you pull your cable, okay? Once you pull your cable, it's going to go to the next screen, even though you've already pulled your cable. It'll go to the next screen, and the screen's going to freeze. And when it does that, you plug your cable back in. The screen will go back to the reconnect, and it'll start reconnecting to BO3 again. And when it does that, you will now have two total liquid diviniums and one in your stack, okay? Once you've done that, you go back to step one and start again. Every time you do that, it adds one to your stack and adds your stack to your total twice. So you've done all six steps and you want to keep building your stack. So you do step one to six. So you do step one and you do step two and three and you'll gain a liquid in your stack. You will also gain two more in your total. And then you do four and five, and you'll gain another two more in total. Then you do six and one again, and then you go back to two and three, and you'll add one to your stack. You'll also add three more to your total. Then you do four and five, and you add another three more to your total. Then you do step six, then you do step one again. Then you do step two and three, and it adds another one to your stack. And then it adds four more to your total. And then you do step four and five, and it'll add four more to your total again. And then you can go up to five. And you can just keep doing that. And once you're up to five, your total will be 30 liquid diviniums. And you can build your stack as high as you want until you're ready to start duplicating. You can build it as high as you want. Now you can start duplicating at any time. Suppose I start duplicating at 5 to go 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, etc. Right? So once you're satisfied with your stack, right, and you figure you have a stack of 10, 20, or whatever you want, you can start duplicating it. To duplicate it, all you have to do is when you do when you're done step four. Once you're done step four, dash. On step five where it says do not dash, that's if you want to keep building the stack. If you're happy with the stack and want to duplicate it, you dash. You plug your LAN cable back in and you do step three and four and then dash. So it's step three, four, dash. Step three, four, dash. Step three, four, dash. Step three, four, dash. Just keep doing that. And every time you do that, your stack will add to your total. Right? That's how it works. Now, there are some important things to know about this. There's some important things to know about how, about things about this glitch. Um, number one is if you're doing a game, and let's say you need to buy a door to get to a shotgun or whatever. If you buy a door, if you buy anything and get a liquid divinium during the game, your stack will reset. And there is nothing you can do about it. If you get a liquid divinium in game, your stack will reset to zero. You will not lose your total liquids, but your stack will reset. If you have a stack and you start spinning in Dr. Monty's, your stack will reset. Sometimes what will happen, and not always, 
is the stack doesn't add one. Even if you follow step one to six perfectly, sometimes it doesn't add one. I don't know why. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. Okay. If you're ever unsure or you get an alphabet error or something trying to reconnect on step five, if you don't know what's, if, if you're confused or something partway through the process or your game crashes, when in doubt, go back to step three. Close app and go back to step three. Okay? If you get any kind of error, have any kind of problem, go back to step three. Okay? The stack can reset for no reason. It does happen, not very often, but it does happen. Okay? Um, the next thing to know, um, there is no room for error in your timing, okay? You, you cannot get any of your timing wrong. When you get the kill and pull the cable, when you pull the cable at the Treyarch symbol, you must get it right. And if you don't, you risk completing your challenge or you don't get the liquid divinium. And the final thing is, that I should let you know, is that this is cheating, okay? Doing this is cheating. Um, please have a legit account if you're going to do this. I only did it on another account because I already have a legit account. But if you don't have a legit account, it, it's, it's just, it's cheating and it it's nothing to be proud of. So, I mean, if you want something to be proud of, have a legit account. So, that's pretty much it. Not really anything else to cover. That's That's how the glitch works. That's how you do it. Um, it may take some practice, it may take some, uh, some getting used to, um, but once you get it down to a science and once you learn how to do it and do it well, it's, it's pretty easy. I've gone through everything, there isn't really much else to go through, so that's pretty much it. But uh, people want to know how, this, how to do this glitch, so now you know. Happy farming!